kasi when when I write songs, I'm not good lyrically, pero I'm good arrange like arrangement wise. Arrangement wise, I know how to make the guitar part. I know to make the piano part. But like, if you were to uh, give me lyrics, I'm not that good with it. So usually it takes me around an hour, like like, like at least an hour. Pero at most like days. At least an hour. Like, oh my god, when I write solo, it takes me weeks. Kasi ang problema naman sa akin, baliktad tayo, I suck at melodies and music and arrangement. But lyrics yung mabilis sa akin. Kasi I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lyrics person talaga. I like a song pag, pag nakarelate ako sa lyrics. Ayan. I see. Yeah, yeah but it, it, yeah, it, it varies from person to person. Eh. Person to person. Sabi okay. nga ni si Yeng Constantino. Si Yeng is like, she's one of my mentors when it comes to songwriting. So, si Yeng, I gave her lyrics. Tapos, nasa isang dressing room lang kami sa ABS nito. I gave her my lyrics. Pumasok siya sa banyo. Paglabas niya, may melody na yung buong song. And I'm like, how did you do that? Yeah, yeah, it's so, that's, that's talent, that's pure talent talaga po, ang galing niya. And, I mean, I, diba, I guess, obvious why she won Pinoy Dream Academy. Oh, Alexa, oh. haha. Hi. Wala lang, I mean, I can just sit here and scream your name for the next hour or so, kasi super na-miss talaga kita. And like, ayan, yan, yung, yung expression mong ganyan, ganyan ako kagigil every oh, night. Oh, oh pag pinapanood kita kasi I'm like Ooh. hindi ko hindi ko na expect super like of course I know you couldn't have told me syempre di ba kasi there's like an NDA involved in PBB but super nagulat ako na pumasok ka so like ako first question ko for you what was the reason ano yung motivation kasi from where I sit Um, thriving naman na yung showbiz career mo. Uh, usually, ang celebrities pumapasok sa PBB because they feel like they need additional exposure or a boost. Pero in your case kasi, ang tagal mo na in the industry. So why do you feel, why did you feel like PBB was a necessary step for you? Actually, I've always wanted to join PBB and it's always been in talks sa management na dapat sa ganitong batch ako nasali. It's just something that I want to experience. You know, like I don't want to live mm-hmm. uh, the rest of my life um, not knowing what could have been, kung paano kaya yung experience to join PBB. It was, it, it's very interesting for me. And ayun, tapos lagi sinasabi ng management na Uh, sinabi nila sa akin last time na we've always tried to put you in random batches like sa mix, sa teens, or whatever. Pero yung for celebrity daw talaga, yun daw talaga yung perfect time and perfect batch for me, which I thank God for. Because if not, then I wouldn't have met KD din kung sa ibang batch din siguro ako napunta. And I wouldn't have experienced everything na experience ko. Bonus na din, bonus na lang din talaga yung it can help to further my career. But really, I just wanted to try for experience. Hindi ka, ano, hindi, kayong dalawa, hindi ba kayo natakot or nagkaroon ng second thoughts about joining PBB? Uh, oh, yeah. Kasi, syempre, I'm sure nakakapanood naman na kayo ng PBB before kayo naging housemates, no? Nakikita niyo yung effect sa mga previous batches nung stay nila sa loob ng bahay. Like, um, yung iba nababash, yung iba akala nila sa loob okay lang, tapos paglabas nila, ang dami na palang galit sa kanila. Hindi ba kayo nagkaroon ng second thoughts dahil doon? Uh, yeah, definitely. Kasi, uh, especially me, like, I feel super anxious so. Hmm. Your audio is gone again. Oh my god. Wait lang, I'll fix it. There Next, you ask the first. <laughs> Wait lang. It's back. It's back na. Gusto ko yung may teamwork. Lex, you answer first. Oh, sige. Uh, second thoughts. Honestly, no. And it was something na 
management asked me talaga, like, are you sure? You know that there can be pros and then mm-hmm. cons, you know? Sabi ko, I'm good. I think I'm confident. Ano, panatag naman ako sa pagkatao ko and sa pagpapakatotoo ko. Um, wala naman akong kailangan itago. I'm unapologetically me. So, for me, there was nothing to lose. But so much to gain. Okay. So, KD for Alexa, sabi niya, she didn't have any second thoughts because she had everything to lose. Ay, everything to gain and nothing to lose. Right? What about you? Hindi ka ba nagkaroon ng second thoughts? Yeah, I did. Actually, the moment I got uh, a message na parang, Oh, KD, are you interested to join PBB? I had second thoughts immediately. I... To be honest, I was uh 60-40 on joining PBB talaga. Like 60 being no, not joining PBB. No. Uh, and then 40 being yeah. yes. Yes. Cause ayun, cause I don't know, even before, like some people would notice talaga na mahiya in ako sa camera. Even on my old ASAP rods, on some of my guestings, I would be really shy talaga. But mm-hmm. I just told myself before going in na, okay, maybe this is for your own good talaga. So you learn. And maybe it's time for you to, ayun, like, cause me, as like an, a small artist lang sa Star Magic and sa Star Music, I think it was time for me to, to uh, time for me to blossom na. So, ayun. And mukha namang nagkaroon talaga ng super big effect sa inyong dalawa. I mean, the amount of yeah. attention and love that you guys get on social media every day now, sobrang crazy. Like, feeling ko nga if I posted a tweet na puro pangalan nyo lang, thousands of likes pa rin. You know, and that says a lot about how, mu- how much people love you. Yeah. When it comes to the fans, ano yung pinaka-surprising na thing na nabalitaan nyo paglabas nyo ng bahay? Yung existence ba ng KD Lex as a ship, ikinagulat nyo yun? Or did you have a thought na parang, ay baka ma-ship tayo, ganun? No. No, no not actually, at all. No, not at all. It was such a big surprise. I remember that moment we were in the boys' veranda and I think I was glad that KD was talking about people screaming, KD Lex! <laughs> Does it echo, Katie? How did you feel about that? Oh, the shipping. Actually, so, um, I kind of yeah expected it because like I and I, I I'm I'm really close with Alexa talaga and our friendship is really like one of the first talaga in the house. So I did ex- I did expect it, but I didn't expect to hear it from the out like out from inside the house talaga. Naganon kalakas yung mga bosses nila, and the grabe talaga yung support nila sa amin. That's one of the biggest uh the biggest surprises. That when after I came out of the house, grabe talaga yung support sa amin ni Alexa dito sa labas ng bahay ni Kuya. And it just feels, it just feels really, to be honest, I didn't think that I was like masyad inside the house. Like, I didn't have, Seriously? I didn't, I didn't know anything, I didn't know anything. Yeah. Kala ko like sa labas, oh, KD is such a, ano, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's KD is this, KD is that. Kasi inside the house, Ayun, inside the house, uh, I would I would delay some tasks because uh, I would delay some tasks then and I'm not really that good sa mga tasks. So I thought that people on yeah. the outside thought, oh, KD is, yeah. uh, 